Hello, I'm Matt Guff from TheHouse.com and this is a 2019 Arbor Terrapin Snowboard. This is an uh, incredible powder board. It's very powder specific. It's not really meant for resort riding or riding groomers or being in the park. Uh, it's basically just meant for riding deep snow. It only comes in one size, 145. It has this really amazing kind of volume shift story that has a lot of similarities to a kind of like a, shirt, a surfboard style shaping. Um, again, this is a pound deck. You're not going to want to ride this thing really on groomers at all. It's a directional shaped deck. As you see, <laughs> and the nose is 21 centimeters longer than the tail, and there's a five centimeter taper to the tail and a really small side cut radius of six meters, which is extremely small. Now, if this was a, on a board that you could ride in, uh, in resorts, that, that would be super, super small radius style turns. It, it of course, will have a, a rocker profile shape, a parabolic rocker. Uh, there's a lot of rocker in between the feet, and it gradually starts to mellow out to the nose and tail, but the nose's rocker is elongated quite a bit. And notice that there's not really like a fast uprise and kick, because a lot of uh, a lot of boards that have a fast uprise tend to plow through the snow, whereas flatter shaped boards with larger volume noses tend to flay, uh, float and plane across the top. A cool part about the Terrapin board, though, is the uprise fenders. It's kind of a little bit of a bevel at the base, uh, on the nose, being pretty much all the way around the nose, uh, the nose shape of the board, and that helps to like keep the snow from building over the top of the board. Helps to float in the tail area where there's that five uh, centimeter taper. There's this gigantic uh, uprise as well, so it starts actually underneath your foot and then goes all the way past uh, the contact point. So if you want your board to float really well across the top because of the nose and dig deep into the snow with the tail you do that with this design in the terrapin surprisingly enough though the deck has a feel and flex rating of a nine there's not really many additional laminates to the board which makes it kind of surprising for how stiff it is because there's really not much to the deck it does feature a three-year warranty which is awesome there's a full 360 wrap sidewall to make it ultra durable and there's that single malt wood core it's basically just poplar wood or lightweight poplar wood from tip to tail and then all the way to, um, from rail to rail. So the whole board is actually a wood core. Then there's mixed glass, bi-ax glass on bottom and then tri-ax glass on top. But the only additional laminate to the deck is actually this ash, this hand-dyed ash power ply top sheet. And surprisingly enough, again, it's actually a really stiff board for having mixed glass, a single malt wood core, and then having a, a ash top sheet. I'm not really sure how they do it. It doesn't really look to be much thicker than uh, you know the rest of the boards. However though it is it is pretty stiff. A cool part about um, the Terrapin being a stiff deck is that when you're hauling really fast through deep snow that nose isn't going to bend up and flop around a lot. The base is centered. It's uh, of course going to be ultra fast but you need to keep it waxed up throughout the season. It's been factory waxed by when wax works. There's a 360 wrap standard steel edge and they actually added in grip tech edges uh, into the back foot of the board, not on the front foot. So grip tech in traditional boards from Arbor is actually the unblended transition zones between multiple side cut radiuses, but technically this one only has like one side cut radius, so they actually just protruded them out above the nose or above the toes and the heels to help you to grip. It must be for getting to the deep snow because I don't know why else they put the grip tech edges on there. But this is a, a, a phenomenal style deck. If you like dipping it in the trees, the short platform of 145 centimeters and this super short tail is really easy to kick around. If you like big open pow fields, the stiff appeal to it, the kind of gradual rocker nose, um, and the upright fenders make it float like a dream. This is a rad deck. Again, this is the Arbor Terrapin, an awesome um, park, not, not park board, uh, powder board uh, for 2019 that you can check out at thehouse.com. Uh, feel free to leave a comment or a question. Uh, let me know what you think of this thing here. Subscribe to the channel there. Check out more vids there, and hopefully I'll see you guys on the snow. Peace.